All right, everyone, I wanted to show you guys, uh, if you guys happen to pick up the Toshiba uh, Ultrabook, uh, the, this is the Z90, sorry, Z935, the P300 as well, and you happen to pick it up and it has only four gigabytes of RAM and you want to actually max it out to the six gigabytes, what you can do is uh, go ahead and pick up, uh, what I did is just picked up a four gigabyte stick here and then um what I'm gonna go ahead and do this but first before you do I'll show you guys uh in the back of course it's got the screws every corner here all the way around you're gonna need to take those off and it does have another center screw here that it has the security type screw and that's gonna require for you to have it's gonna be like that Torx screw um I think I believe it's the number nine, and as you can see, you need to pick up a. This, this is the type of security which has a, it's basically a little hole because the the screw in here has a little like a little uh, post in there, and that's going to go inside and allow you to remove it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off really fast, and then um, show you guys really quick. So you guys can upgrade to the maximum of the RAM if you guys needed to. This is if you, of course, bought the one that has four gigabytes and you decided you wanted to go ahead and get the. Um, I mean, sorry, upgraded the, to six gigabytes because you can you can order these with already six gigabytes, but if you this, you happen to just purchase it with just uh, four on there. It should help a little bit on the speed because it, it, just the extra two gigabytes. I mean, that, that's pretty good. It, it'll help out if you're doing like videos on it. I gotta say, this this ultra book is it's actually been faster and um, actually producing. This has got the new Ivy Core processor, which is the third generation processor. So it it, it is actually um, rendering movies a lot faster here. I'm using a uh, Power Director 10 and also uh, that Windows Live Media also as well and it's actually faster it's been so far faster out than my Mac my back I've been have been using was I think the 1.7 that's like the the two the early 2000 2012 this year not the current version but again this has got to come out so you gotta let me see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get a flat screwdriver and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can. You want to be careful not to uh, break the glue off of this. Let's see, once, once you take it out, let me zoom in there for you guys. You gotta be really careful not, you know, it's got that little glue, the glue there. So you want to make sure that you retain that because what it will happen is if that glue comes off. You won't be able to stick it back in there. As you can see, this is the gl the glue on there. This is already. Let me see if I can show you guys. That came out from it. Let me back it out. Maybe I'll focus better. See, that's just a little. I'm gonna set that aside, and I'm gonna show you guys uh the, the, this little glue. What it is is like that little two-way glue. It's like a little bit. It's still sticky. This is that sticky stuff, so make sure you don't lose that sticky stuff because that's what's gonna hold that little. You know, let me. I mean, just kind of move it to the side here, just so enough so I can get enough for. Or maybe I can actually pull it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and save that so I can put that back on there and um, so I can get that to hold on there. And let me see what size this is. This looks like about. That looks actually like a number seven, a Torx number seven. So let's get the give that one a try. Yep, that's what it is. It's Torx. It's a Torx at number seven. Then you'll be able to pull that out. Put that aside. And basically, this opens up really easy. This is this is not actually plastic. You might think it's plastic, but this is actually like a metal it's a really high grade metal and it's yet very lightweight as you can see 
very nice. Uh, it's very nice design. Here's the battery, of course. As you can see, and the speakers are here on the edge here. Toshiba's actually, I, I'm really enjoying this uh, tablet, so I might end up uh, probably going to end up getting one of these after all. Um, like I said, it's very, very fast. And as you can see here on board, it's got a, this is a 2 gigabyte RAM here. So we're going to replace that with the 4 gigabyte because it's already got, it's got two here. It's got only one open slot and the other is actually built into the, the, the other memory is actually built into the motherboard. So it's 2 gigabytes is already built in. So that's why it only maxes out at to uh, six gigabytes. I could have tried. Uh, maybe I might try to see if it'll actually recognize uh, maybe an eight gigabyte stick. But um, as far as I know, it won't. As you can see, uh, all the connections there. There's your there's your M SATA here. As you can see, solid state. So it's easy to upgrade as well if you ever wanted it. They're using. It looks like it's using the Toshiba. Uh, this is a very very fast. Uh, I did the Crystal Marks benchmarks on this. It's got really high ratings on this. It's really nice. So for now I'm gonna leave this in there. I'm not gonna change that for now. It's really high. Once I start running out of space, I'm gonna try to see if I can pick up a 256, maybe a Run Core. If uh, I believe I don't know if a Run Core comes in that. Um, and the M Sadus, the so that's easy to again. Let me show you guys. Um, very easy to. There's these little clips here. You just uh, sl slide it this way, as you can see, and the memory will pop up, up like this. Slide it out, and again, this is the PCC3 1600. So that's what you want to use, uh, so that way you can keep the speed. And this got a little notch there, so it only goes one way. There's a notch there. You just kind of slide it in. Once it's slid in there, push it down, and that's it. You're done. Get your cover back on there. This is very, very easy to upgrade, or, or at least not upgrade. Well, actually upgrade, yeah, because it makes it really easy. They've put that security there because I bet they don't want you to open these up. But um, it's nice to be able to upgrade your SSD drive. When you put the cover, make sure that these are longer out. So you want to make sure you slide this out this way. Put it down here like this and snap it back in. All oh, this slides back in really easy. As you can see, all the corners will go back in there really good. So then once you get that in there, then um, what I'll do is I'm gonna put the center one back in here first. And just make sure they're all lined up really good. You don't want to strip none of these. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because you guys, you know, just easy to put all the screws. Let me pause it and I'll boot. I'll come back okay, and go we'll back and uh, back up. Go ahead and I'm, I'm booting this back up. And this has got the six gigabytes of RAM <clears throat> now. So this is the solid state. It's really fast. Uh, like I said, it's, I'm really liking this. As you can see, it's probably booting up in under probably 15 seconds. So let me see. I'll show you guys. Let's go to systems and we are now reporting six gigabytes of RAM which is very nice uh, the the RAM upgrade uh, only I think it was only $25 for the RAM upgrade or the stick here I got so it's a lot cheaper to if you have a four gigabyte you can just purchase a six gigabyte like I said I'm gonna go ahead and um, I may have to re-index it because of the new RAM on here before, uh, this is the readings I was getting before, so uh, let me see, it might not do it on battery because you gotta be uh, plugged in, but yeah, let me go, I'm gonna grab the cord and then uh, uh, we'll do a little, you know, testing here to see what we get now afterwards right now. 5.9 was uh, actually, was the only thing that was actually slowing down is the RAM. So like I said again, I'm really liking this machine, it's very fast, the primary hard disk is, Super fast. Let me show you guys what my crystal marks are on that one. Uh, recorded these. These are really great scores. Um, and again, this is the 
that this is this is not the 835 the Z835 that you know had a the the loud noise and the fan this is super quiet it get, it does speed up but it's still quiet when it's really doing a lot of processing power when I'm doing the movies on their part director 10 but look at these scores on here excellent for uh, SSD drive so let me pause it go pick up the cord okay, and then the we'll do here, a quick test back in the... let me turn this off and then we'll go ahead let's do a refresh here we'll see what what kind of score we get back from it again I really like in this Toshiba it's very nice oh yes this is very nice as you can see now before it was reading with the 5.9 was the slowest and look at the RAM it is uh, now we're getting let me put that on there you see hopefully you can focus there real good no right there there you go now for the memory we're getting 7.4 on the memory so that's 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 great uh, before it was 5.9 so now the slowest um, on here is the 6.5 that was the arrow desk performance which I'm not gonna be doing any games so I'm not worried about that but still very high score let me show you guys uh, compare it before pictures I have a quick one that I did if the before I'll put that one here and then we'll put this one here oh actually let me see if I can make it this smaller just so you guys can take a look just a uh, quick comparison kind of as you can see now it's uh oops sorry focus back out as you can see this is what I recorded that, that was before uh, memory was 5.9 with the uh, 4 gigabytes and with just those extra 2 gigabytes it's made a big difference in the memory operation 7.4 the other two stay the same, of course, and so I got a very high machine. Uh, so if you guys are looking for an ultra powder book, uh, to me, uh, this Toshiba is actually, to me, in one way, is actually a better deal than the Lenovo X1 Carbonite, I think it is. Uh, that one's running you pretty much about $1,500, $1,600. Uh, yes, this one's not made super high quality but again this is like metal it, you think it's be plastic but it's not as I show you the cover uh, this does have a little bit of flex which I don't like um, but it's a very sturdy machine very excellent speed wise so that's a quick way if you guys got to even want to upgrade the your SSD drive or you want to upgrade the RAM okay thanks for watching